Good morning, Year 7. I hope you're well and having a lovely day and looking forward to your last lesson of this half term. Hasn't it gone quickly? So today we'll be looking at a memoir, memoir writing and imagining returning to the village after many years. You will just need your book and a pen. Okay, so do now. Write about your favourite place when you were younger. Try to remember your favourite place when you were little and answer these questions. Where was it? What did it look like? What did you do there? Who were you with? What did it smell like? And how did it make you feel? So please pause the video for 10 minutes in order to do that now. Okay, task one, memoirs, uh, memoirs and nostalgia. I would like you to copy the definitions into your book. A memoir is a book or other piece of writing based on the writer's personal knowledge of famous people places or events. She has written a memoir of her encounters with fam famous movie stars over the years. Nostalgia is a feeling of pleasure and also slight sadness when you think about things that happened in the past. Some people feel nostalgia for their school days. Hearing that song again fills him with nostalgia. A wave e.g. Um, equals a sudden strong feeling of nostalgia. Okay, so read the extract written by someone returning after 20 years to the village in Cyprus where she grew up. So let's read it through together. What struck me hard as I walked around is how much more deserted it is now when I compare it to when I lived here 20 odd years ago. This was evident strongly by what used to be the old coffee shop, which is located in the middle of the village and by the side of the main church. I vividly recall how when you'd walk past, you'd see loads of people, mainly men, sat outside, sipping their Cypriot coffee, playing backgammon and card games, whiling the afternoon away. Having closed a long time ago, the same courtyard is now overrun with weeds and the building is merely a shell. I used to spend a lot of time here, as my friend's family owned the cafe, so I'd sit and chat to them while they made coffee and take out bottle after bottle of Coca-Cola and plates of Malahebi, aromas of rose syrup sur surfing the air. Every Saturday they would serve souvlaki, Cyprus's national dish, which consists of skewered pork meat, cooked on a barbecue and served in a pita bread with salad and dips. As loads of people would also come up from towns at the weekend to see their parents, it would be really busy, particularly in the summer. If you walk past here now on a Saturday night, all you will find is emptiness, darkness and silence. As I left the courtyard and took a, lo a look at the church wall, I smiled. I slammed into that wall one, one summer's evening when I was racing a cousin on my bicycle. We had agreed on a certain route, but he went right when we said we would go left. I tried to shout at him and crashed into the wall. I still remember the walk of shame back up past the coffee shop as all the old men stared at me and my scraped arm curiously and tutted at how careless us youngsters were. What I would like to do now is pick out any words or phrases which show nostalgia for the past. How does the writer feel about the village now? How does it make you feel about this place? Pause the video for 10 minutes to do this. So I'd like you to copy out the words and phrases which show nostalgia or tells us how the writer feels or how you feel. So you're picking out the words and phrases, copying them out and writing next to them um, why they're significant or why you chose them. So pause the video to do that now. Okay, so these are some of the things you may have picked out. Don't worry if you have different ones, that's absolutely fine. But I would like you to copy these down with the annotations. So it struck me hard. Physical reaction. It hurts to see it. Powerful adjectives show how much has changed, such as the word deserted. Also overrun with weeds. And merely a shell. And all you'll find is emptiness. There's also a contrast with the negative present. Happy memories, use of alliteration makes it sound perfect. The 
there's a sense of smell is powerful in these memories. For instance, aromas of rose syrup surfing the air. This memory is a bit embarrassing, but now she can smile at the foolishness of her younger self. So, task four, I would like you to write your own memoir about the village. Imagine your character is returning to the village after 20 years. Describe their feelings, memories and emotions as they visit certain key locations in the village. Choose three key places and make up a memory associated with, e with each one. Make some notes to start with. For example, the village green. The village fate in 2020 after the lockdown. Everyone had such a good time and I won the Guess the Sweets in the Jar competition. So please pause the video for 15 minutes to do this now. Okay, add an emotional ending. So, after I clipped my final shots of the evening, I sat down to enjoy the sunset. As much as I love traveling to far and fascinating lands, I always ground myself here, in this humble village. Yes, it will never attract masses of tourists, or the attention of travel magazines. But it's important to me, and my life story is unparalleled. I joke that nothing changes in Aura, but that's not true. It does change. Buildings get older and crumble. People age and die. But the one thing that remains constant is that this is where my home is. And just because I don't physically live here, it doesn't mean that my heart cannot. I would like you to add to your memoir an ending to show how you feel about the village after all these years. Try to use an emotive phrase to make the reader feel a little sad. So pause the video for 10 minutes to do that now. So that's it. I hope you don't feel too sad after our trip down memory lane. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a wonderful half term. You've worked really hard. It was amazing to see photos of your fate. So take some well-deserved time off, chill out, don't think about work too much, and then come back ready and rested after half term for our next unit. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.